being in the right place, right time, having the right interest. I was, you know, I look back at the way I like to learn. I was never someone that can read a recipe and cook a meal or sit in a classroom and just hear what the instructor is teaching. And, or even in Ikea, for example, my brain doesn't work that way. I can't pull the pamphlet out and build the thing. I have to I have to just look at it and understand it and kind of make it work for myself in a way that my brain understands. So I think part of that is kind of uh, just the way I'm wired is that I need to I need to understand things the way I need to understand them in a macro big picture. I'm more of a big picture kind of guy and go from there. So I think that's a component of it and not just doing as I'm, as I've been instructed, even when it doesn't make sense, for example. Yeah. Um, and I've always kind of studied that way in, in dental and medical school. I kind of just had to go into the library and research things my own and, and kind of figure things out in a way that made sense to me. And when things didn't make sense to me, I didn't like learning them that way. I just had to kind of figure them out. So I think part of that is it, is in that territory. It's like, you know, the surgery is awesome. And, but why? I know there's technologies out there that that we can use to do it better. So part of that while I was doing the surgery for the last 10 years is like, how can I get it better? What's available out there? And then being at, you know, graduating at Columbia when I was a fifth year resident, I got really, I uh, started a research project to build stem cell mandibles in pigs. So a large animal study where we, we engineered um, ramus with stem cells from fat and we were able to build these uh, jaws and a bioreactor and, and it worked and it was awesome and I, I kind of fell in love with that uh, investigatory process and really befriended the engineers at Columbia University and really kind of got interested in that study and I think when I came to my career I really found that passion for uh, you know that 3D technology CAD CAM software engineering so engineering in a way not in a formal uh, teaching, but almost through this indirect and formal teaching, I did become interested in it and uh, kind of dove into it. And I, and I think those two um, wired brain and and learning process with the engineers put me on this path to to get jaw surgery where we have it now. Wow, man, that's amazing. Have you ever done a Meyer Briggs personality test by any chance? Um, I, I don't think I I did. I'll bet you if you did, you would end you would end up being an INTP. Tell me Has about anyone that. ever told you you were an INTP? No. What does that What does that mean? So INTPs are very resistant to authority. They like to do things their own way. Okay. They They must understand the big picture. Yes. They like to connect lots of different ideas to create a unified theory of everything. That's amazing. Their Their work cannot be totally hidden from the world. They're most inspired to do work that other people can see. That's what motivates them, letting other people, uh, uh, having their work be on display in some public way, even though generally they're somewhat introverted. That's amazing. That totally describes me. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. A lot of of my favorite sort of thinkers and scientists um, are INTPs. Uh, that's amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that study. Yeah, I, told, yeah. I think that I mean I, I def- definitely identify with that description you just made. 